Oh, that's why they don't come back here. Tabitha's room key looks like a poo. It's fine, because it was supposed to be under something. And this is, I assume, where she's at if uh, we don't steal Raul. So there's a note number three over here. Let's see if we find note number one. Sheet music book. Hmm. Ham radio. We cannot find note number one. Let's see what this one says. Raul, Ronda made me angry, so I threw this. Now it doesn't seem to work. Please fix. Huh. I think number three means that it has happened before. Oh, that's what this is all about. And this is the radio station. Okay. Yep. Yeah. There, that's just where she is. Let's see what I can do over here. Control panel. What am I doing? I don't know what I did. But I did something. There's a satellite dish. <laughs> Serving as a bonfire. I don't think that should work. But I'm not sure. Either way, we have Raul. Let's go to his shack and see what we can do with that. Because his shack is all the way to the north. Oh, that's Fields' Fields shack. Where's our old shack? Is it over here? There it is. Is he really going to fix things for us? There's a malnourished Brahmin calf. It wasn't here before. I swear it wasn't. I think I've been inside. Hey. What can I do for you, boss? Uh, repair stuff. You got the caps, I got the skills. Oh. He doesn't even give me a discount. I mean, maybe he does give me a discount, but... Uh... I guess that's it, isn't it? Hey. What can I do for you, boss? We need to part ways. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. Yeah, it is. We'll uh, meet up at the Lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. Sounds good. I really don't know what the, what's up with that cow, but we're going to get Veronica back. Hey, Lily! Hello again, dear. So you're here. Talk to you soon, dear. Yes, Veronica. What's up? Let's hit the road. Let's go make trouble. Let's see if I can fix my power fist now, my pushy. Yes, I can. Brass knuckles. Lovely. Lovely. That is beautiful. I can fix... Remnants power helmet, most likely. With sunglasses. That's amazing. I can repair anything. That is amazing. We're going to fix the remnants power armor with uh, anything that I find in here. A hat? Remnants. Baseball glove? Fix that power armor. No. It's a very powerful... Thing if it allows me to fix uh, anything with um, reading glasses. Reading glasses. Fix that power armor with those reading glasses. That's what's up. So I want a brain for Rex. I don't have Rex with me right now. And getting the brain... I don't want to take one of Gibson's dogs, and I don't want to go deal with the, with the, um, what are they called? With Caesar's Legions, that's the one, Caesar Legion right now. So we're left with Vault 3, 
and the fiends. However, for that, they're going to need to be friendly to me. There is a way to make them friendly. I have a mod that specifically allows for that. I'm not sure if it's restored content. I think it is, but I'm not sure. So here's the plan. What we need to do is we need to dress up like a fiend. We also need to be high on drugs. So for that, we're going to need to take some drugs. And I have, throughout the course of the game, I have taken some drugs already. Let's take uh, Hydra here. You have gained the Day Tripper perk. Good. What that does, I'm not sure, actually. Um, but, uh, so you've done enough cam to know how to hang on to the effects just a while longer. That's pretty good. I hope it works for every cam. Because we are, we're really hyped up, uh, yeah, hyped up on that. It's, yeah, it's a thing. Uh, but that's our armor right now. It's a little bit broken, but we don't worry about that. And, of course, this means that we need to try going to Vault 13. And uh, hopefully not getting killed. Let's approach from the north. And also, since we're going to the Sasparilla headquarters, we might as well check to see... Oof. I'm crashing down. It's fine. We're, we're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, see if we have the bottle cap thing. The 50 Sunset Sasparilla Star bottle cap. We don't have the 50. Uh, we have the 48. So we're going to need to w find some more. However, something is wrong. In fact, most likely a lot of things are wrong. Considering there's a lot of enemies around. They should be friendly towards me. I think we might not need to go to Vault 3. I think these are just enemies because they're the... They're the mean fiends. I think we've been here. Have we been here? I don't think we've been here. Look at this big girl. Hey. Hi. Okay, it's not that big. It's, it's young. But still. Chances map. What is this? I can't pick any of these things. Seriously, Veronica? I, I, lo I know you love being the center of attention, but please, for a, a second, what are we looking at here? The map of the world. It is. There's a fridge. No, I don't know what that is, but it isn't a fridge. So... A bottle of milk and a beer. The powder gangers. There's a can here. There's a horn here. Possibly the death claws. But that is the Repcon. I don't know what that is. This is the map of the wasteland. That's the boomers. That's a uh, that's an exploding uh, thing. I don't remember what it's called. And that's Turpentine, where New Vegas is, I think. The sun is killing me. Well, I'm trying to get a, to the fiends without them attacking me. I don't know that that's possible. Is it just dogs? Okay, okay. Let's read the, the journal... To make sure I know what I'm doing here. Search for an exceptional canine brain among the fiends. I wonder if the brain matters for what Rex becomes. Because you'd think it does, because it's a freaking brain. Fallout 2 has a mission where you choose different brains. I don't see anybody. There's somebody feeding dogs, though. Hey! What? Oh, freaking hell. I don't want to kill any of the fiends. Oh, there's people. 
Eddie, come back. Veronica, you really left Eddie back there? Oh, these dogs. Yeah. They're shooting. Okay, let's come back in a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do instead. Because I know who this is. And I know why they're aggressive. I think I know why they're aggressive. It has nothing to do with my power armor. Speaking of which, let's... Uh, let's put the power armor on. So it can be a little bit more scary. Scarier is the word. We've been detected? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area because I think it's here no it's not there's no area here okay so we can teleport to that okay okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Camp McNamara and uh, Camp McCarran uh, and uh, we're gonna get those bounties because I think I know who gives them to me. My drugs are wearing off. Hey, it's Betsy. I've been seeing Usanagi and things are better. I'm not so angry all the time, you know? And uh, I'm not trying to jump every woman in camp. Well, not all the time, anyway. Sounds fair. Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, try not to get killed. Uh-huh. She got better. Ten of spades. T -t Ten of spades. First recon. That is true. I, uh, it's good to see you. Yeah. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Little Buster. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Daughtry owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Are you supposed to be famous or something? Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. I thought I'd made a name for myself around here. <laughs> All the more reason to quit this trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Ah, shit, I'd settle just for the women. Why does that owe you caps? Because I killed a couple marks for him, that's why. You ever heard of Jackson or Night Terror? I take it they were fiends? Damn right they were. And they were good, too. Till I took them down. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little. But my shit gets done. How long have you been bounty hunter? Shit, I don't know. Lost count. It's been many years. I wasn't always a bounty hunter. I had to take a lot of shitty jobs before this. You've worked a lot of different trades? Yeah. Before I was a bounty hunter, I used to be a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? No. The guys always wanted me to wake up bright and early in the morning. <sighs> I wasn't having that. I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. That's the price of excellence. I've been known to hunt a few bounties myself. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Yeah, I'm about to. I was about to get some. What are you going to do now? Simple. I'm going to make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my caps from Daughtry, I'm going to head over to Gamora and start bringing in more caps. You see, there's not as many people playing at Gamora. Have you seen the casinos lately? So that means I've got pretty good odds. Once I'm on a roll, I'm going to get three girls. Three. All at the same time. <laughs> Give or take 600 caps. Can't get that over here. The girls at Gomorrah, I'm telling you. <laughs> this plan, I got it all worked out. It's a very obsessed person. Why did you quit the trade? See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money. <laughs> I ran into this Mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him. But with this guy, it might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. 
I'm all for risking my life, but that wasn't worth it. Hmm. Okay. See ya. Well, he's really not even hitting that, that thing. I need to talk to Datri. I have no idea who Datri is. That is a problem. Excuse me, sir. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Well, yeah, it's it's well, it's gonna involve some um some some dead fiends. I heard you're Bitter Root's father, by the way. Adoptive father, yes. I was very proud when he made first recon. I'm sure you were. Um, you're having tr trouble with fiends, I hear, as well. Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Might be. Give me their names. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's driver Nephi. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Cook Cook loves using his flamethrower on his victims. Usually after he rapes them. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men. You go after them, any of them. You're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one's it gonna be? I was here specifically for Violet. Oh, we have heard of Cook Cook before, uh, considering that um, that was, I don't, I don't remember her name. Uh, but she was a soldier over here, and uh, we helped her out of her uh, PTSD situation. Or maybe not out, but, you know, to deal with it and all that. So, Violet, maybe? Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. They never leave her side. Yeah, I know. I can handle the dogs. Where do I need to go? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for too long. Is that true? Because I'm pretty sure they do stay in the same place for the whole game. I don't th That's interesting. Anything else I need to know? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots. No decapitations. Till after they're dead. And no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting. And I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, what do you know about the fiends? Pack of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stem, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. What can you tell me about the great cons? We know they supply the fiends with illegal chems, but they never stick around for long. They know the land and move quick. There's talks about taking out their base at Red Rock Canyon, but nothing ever comes of it. The Great Khans are great fighters. If we did go up against them on their home turf, we'd win. But casualties would be high. Would you win? I wonder if that's true. Either way, we still need to go deal with the Great Khans, because we know where they are. Uh, in fact, we might have left specifically a place in the map that we haven't visited uh, because of that's where they were. You were at Bitter Springs, I'm told. Yeah, I was there. I was Captain Daughtry then. That whole situation was a mess and could have easily been avoided with good intel. The Major in charge at the time made a bad call. 
by the time any of us realized there were civilians down there. Women and children. The shooting had already started. The Major froze up at the news, and we couldn't get another word out of him. I took over and salvaged the situation as best I could. For my effort, I was promoted to Major. Not quite the way I'd have wanted it. That damage control of him salvaging the situation as best he could. I wish he had talked a little bit more about that, because that... We heard about what happened at Bitter Springs. Um, it's just... It's very hazy right now, so maybe there's a wiki page explaining exactly what happened. Uh, tell me again about what you know. No, I, I don't need you to tell me about uh, Violet. I'll, I'm going to take care of her. Uh, see you later. Right. Well, I guess, as I was saying... Look at that. You see what I'm talking about? These guys don't move. They don't change. And I say that because the first time I played this game, I stopped playing it right around... I think I had an SMG. I think I was using an SMG at the time. Uh, and I... Uh, I stopped playing it right around I kill right after or right around the time I killed uh, one of these bounties that we get here not that I had gotten the bounties I was just exploring and I found cook cook I believe um, and there's cows in there I think I think we've seen no I don't know we've been close to cook cook but the yeah he just always stays I mean not just him it's just the whole gang and he always stays in the same place and so basically the dogs must have always been here it's just how it goes. So, the plan is not to punch, kill in any way. Ooh, Il Fantoma and Fixer. Uh, in any way, Violet. Ooh, Stealth Boy. I am very surprised about that. Because if I do, she's going to blow up and uh, bad things are going to... Well, I'm not sure if bad things are going to happen. Good for you guys, sneaking. It's very kind. And see, we're in caution mode. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't tell a joke. Hey. They're, they're, they're doing their thing. Let them do their thing. I don't think they're gonna do headshots. They might do headshots. I'm a little bit concerned. It sounds like ooh, drugs. No, she's still alive. What is this? Cans? Not great cans, just lame cans. What do we have? Bottle caps. So I'm basically coming in here and uh, stealing all the stuff. Uh, the stealth boys are really handy to have because obviously we're gonna need we're gonna need them. Um, and uh, specifically for the death claws. Future weapons today. Is that Eddie? That must be Eddie. Okay, the dogs. I also came here for the dogs. Violetta. Violetta's brain. I... Search... I, I guess we're going to be able to heal Rex. Oh, she's still there? There? Hey. Good job, Eddie. And we got ourselves a hunting rifle. It's not very good. Uh, Violet's head. That's the one. Also, that happened, but yeah. Good job, everybody. We got the dog and the girl. Sounds sounds like a couple of quests done, but I'm not sure if it, they are done. Well, certainly the bounties aren't done. How do you get in there? I don't think you need to get in there. Oh, you can't. You can't. It's blocked. Uh, yeah, the, the quests aren't done because certainly the bounties, there are going to be three of them. There's more human flesh. So they fed human flesh to the dogs and baseball balls. These are really nice baseball balls. The, goal, the dogs clearly didn't eat or chew on the baseball balls. So let's go get, uh, get uh, not Eddie, get uh, Rex. Eddie is with me already. Let's go to Luggy 38. Hey, Cass, what's up? Do you know where Rex is? Is he sleeping under the bed again? I told him not to get on the bed. All right, then. Yeah, I need to take care of him. Okay. 
It's better to be on the bed than in the table. Raul, what are you doing out here, man? In there, I mean. Where's the dog? Rex might be with... With a king. I think that's the case. Dang it. Rex. 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 Rex, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait a freaking... Rex! Do you want to come with me? Okay. I didn't even go up to the king. Oh my god, I'm lucky my... Yeah, the king is not down here. I, I, Rex was just running around. You know how he, how he do. Um, let's go back to Jacobstown. Hey, Doc. I hope I have what is needed. Is there something else I can do for you? Yeah, I have a new brain for Rex. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. I took a, 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 a down a, a fiend dog named Violetta. Big brain on this one. All right, let's see. Damn. Heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug Turbo are present. Transplanting this brain will make Rex faster than he was before. Sounds about right. Have a seat. This will take a while. Rex has gained the Unshakable Tracker perk, increasing his movement speed. And I gained 450 experience, increasing my experience. Hey, Rex. How are you doing? He's doing happily. How are you feeling? Yes. You certainly look a lot better. Okay. Let me look at your equipment. It doesn't have anything. This is good news. Uh, goodbye. I wonder... I mean, I do need to go back to the king. I was going to say, I wonder where he goes. I wonder if he goes to the Lucky 38 if I send him home. But he probably is going to go back to the king because the mission is not done yet. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody's feeling better over here. I think we're leaving Jacobstown for good. In the sense that we've done all the quests that we have to do up here. And... Uh, And that's it. Let's go, Rex. Let's go see your dad. Actually, the quest is not activated anymore. We're still gonna see his dad. But, I'm not sure what's going on. Let's hope that the king is down here. I still can't believe the king agreed to work with the NCR. The king is indeed down here. No, that's Baser, sorry. Why, Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? Uh, should I leave you two alone? No, I'm just happy to see my pup back on his feet and happy. I can't thank you enough for this. Hopefully, he's been making himself useful as a way of paying you back. But where are my manners? Did you need something? No, I have to go. All right. I'll see you later. Maybe you will. <laughs> That's Rex, I think, was supposed to be barking at the king. I'm not really sure. Pacer. What do you want? I don't know. I just felt like... Either way, I'll see you later. Bye. I guess it's the last time we're going to see the kings. Because we don't need to do anything else. Eddie. It's time for us to go, then. Yep. You all say the same thing. 